Okay, dear friends, after listening to Java environment, my computer has been restarted, and then I am again starting from the beginning. Let's see what happened. Again, click on this uh, setup.exe. Okay, then click on custom in C drive. Then it is starting Visual Basic 6.0. Let me check either my video is recording or not. It is recording. Okay, in this step, I have to click on continue and I have to click on OK. And setup is searching for installed component. Let us wait because it's quite a heavy software. It reduce my system speed actually actually this is not it is a first generation computer and my processor speed is relatively low but I had to make some changes that's why I am not skipping this video in the middle I had to make some changes changes okay that's why I am waiting for the next step and I will do a simple program in Visual Basic actually. Nowadays, I am learning a lot of uh, uh, new languages because you know, coronavirus attacked the whole world, and in this time, I am stuck in. I am. In, uh, we are having lockdown, and I am stuck in home and having no syllabus, no university, and just stay home and learning. Okay. Eating, learning, and sleeping. These things is uh, circularly going on. That's why I, I nowadays I am learning Visual Basic, JavaScript, CSS, HTML, jQuery, Ajax, C, C++, Python, PHP. All these languages. In the last few months, I am practicing. Actually, I am not. Uh, learning I'm learning in the very basic stage as you know I am just a student of final year it is taking a little bit more time then I, I think I have to pause my video till this setup searching install work well okay I have to pause my video Okay, then uh, I am in this stage. I will click on just Visual Basic 6.0 and it is Markov, source set Markov, ActiveX, and graphics. Okay, Enterprise tool I will shut off, and in, in this data access, I will go on change option. And in this AD, AD, RDS, uh, and OLEDB providers, I will go on change option and I will uncheck this ADD, ADO, RDS option. Okay, and I will click on OK, click on OK. I think I should recheck this. Okay, and then then I I think I should continue. Okay, I should click on continue, and then this will safely installed. This will uh, don't face any problem. Okay, and then again it is checking for necessary disk space. Okay.
as you can see it is writing all the files one button okay let us again pause the video for 100% now now the visitor as you can see it is saying setup is updating your system let's see what update it bring to me okay actually it is saying visual studio 6.0 interface not responding okay setup has installed an icon so okay then click on okay then just wait And it is saying successfully installed. And there is no need to install MSDN. Okay, and then I'm click on MSDN and click on next. Yes. Next. Next. And don't register now. Next. It's finally installed. Okay. It's finally installed and you will find this app in your um, all apps okay that's right visual basic visual basic 6.0 okay and if i run as administrator m It is loading. Okay, as you can see, the graphics, graphical interface of this visual is uh, basic 6.0, and it is updating all these prerequisites. Let me check my video is running or not, it's running. One second, let me check my messages. Okay. As you can see, it is please wait while Windows configure Microsoft Office version plus two, uh, 2010. Don't worry, it will automatically install all the prerequisites of page or basic 6.0. And it's asking for me to a new project and system.exe open. Okay, as you can see, this is my first project. Okay, and if I run this, there is nothing in my project. Okay, and then, okay, so this is how we can install our Visual Basic and we can. Add any of label. Suppose I am adding a label. Okay, label one, and we can add form, etc., etc. Thank you all for today. We will see some um, basic starting programs in Visual Basic in the next tutorial.